signs of life in the real estate market, stay tuned to this week's episode of Prime Prop City. Promise you, it'll be worth it. Good day, Toronto. Welcome to another episode of Prime Prop City. So glad you could join me here today. My hair cutting tool finally got shipped last week and it arrived. So now I can see I finally cut my hair. I didn't really care too much about the way I looked with long hair because I could always kind of like gel it back. But what bothered me was when I had hair that was like this long flopping in front of me and I just couldn't see. I don't understand how anyone could see that way and it's very distracting. So I'm glad that's all over with. That and also my sideburns were getting kind of long and like hair touching my ears were foreign to me. So I'm glad the wife was able to give me a haircut a few days ago. And she, I think she did a pretty good job for having never done it before. We both definitely have a newfound appreciation for anyone that cuts hair because it's a lot harder than you may think, especially how long it took. But I guess most of us kind of have time on our hands right now most of the time. Now in this week's episode, I'm gonna go over the usual weekly COVID-19 numbers plus some data on how showings have been progressing since COVID-19. It's a different approach on a way we're looking at how the whether the market is rebounding on and I have to say, I think there could be signs of life. Of course, if you like the information provided here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and you subscribe to the Prime Property Studio channel. The button will be somewhere down here for you to um, click on and I appreciate much of the support uh, and for the information that we put out there. Okay, so the fourth week of April just ended and I have to say April kind of felt like it flew by quite quickly, but here are the numbers. This is week eight of tracking and we see that the amount of new listings are more or less the same, a little bit less, but it's a 10% difference for the first time since we had COVID-19. So I think it's a little bit stable. But the other thing is we saw an increase in sales. We actually increased 36% more sales than we had last week, despite the fact that we got less new listings this week. So which ultimately kind of changes our week of inventory number. And for the first time since COVID-19, we're below three. That I think is a pretty big stepping stone for signs of life. Statistically speaking, this is technically the strongest since we were started to feel the major effects of COVID-19 in the market. And this could be a sign of life, but you know, but that's just something that one could argue. Last week, I chalked it up to an anomaly that, you know, it's kind of trending upwards, but to have another week that just passed like this one and even stronger, I think next week will be a good indicator of whether the market is no longer trending towards the bottom and could be trending upwards instead. Two weeks of trending up is good, but it's not large enough of a sample size for me to be like preaching on top of the mountain, the market's rebounding, you know, not just yet. So now let's go into the micro market and you can see that we got more condo sales and the days on market is increasing and the percentage sold is decreasing along with the price. Now this could be the bottom, it really could. And you could potentially say that because when uh, activity increases, uh, prices tend to trend uh, upwards a little bit later. But all in all, I can say that the activity is picking up and that is a good sign that we're going the other way and no longer heading towards the bottom. Again, we'll have to wait and see next week, but so far it looks quite promising. Now towns, I would just say completely ignore like I normally do, but even more so this week because there were four towns that sold for over a million dollars sitting on the market for like 40 days. So I've just messed up the numbers, just fully ignore. The semis, similar to what I've been saying, we're seeing an increase in days on market, but also a minor increase in sold percentage, which tells me the new listings are being sold and also sort of the old ones. Now for detaches, we got a lot of sales in the past week and the days on market is also increasing and then the sold percentage is also decreasing. Very, very similar to the condo, so also maybe the bottom. It's hard to say, but it's some signs of it. All in all, I think everything is pointing to signs of life in the real estate market again. Of course, okay, and I mean, of course, big asterisks. We are by no means where we should be compared to like what a normal April market is. If you look at last year, this time, this week, you can see we had 722 sales, okay? I'll put a chart up here. And last week, in 2020, we got 160. So when I say signs of life, I don't mean we're going back to like a full spring market, like just like that. I just mean we're now trending upwards instead of you know going downwards instead. And you can see that by the percentage difference on the chart here that we are going upwards. Now what I'm gonna show you is another set of data from Broker Bay. Broker Bay is a software company that I would say majority of the brokerages in the greater Toronto area use to manage their showings, offer registrations and listings. I'm gonna put their data up here for you guys to have a look at, but the purpose of this is to give you a different perspective on it. Of course, Broker Bay isn't all encompassing for the entire market like Treb is and the numbers I normally show you, but it gives us the numbers for how showings are going, which is a good indicator of how many people are actively looking at properties right now. 
which Trev doesn't have. So if you look at a chart over here in the last 30 days, you can see that we're trending upwards in the activity, like the number of showings, marginally, but still trending upwards nonetheless. The other random but interesting thing I would, didn't know about was showings always dip on Sundays. So, you know, maybe I should start taking Sundays off. But those are just the dips you see on the chart, but everything else is trending upwards. This next chart shows you a comparison of the third week of March versus the third week of April, which is um, third week of March, I would say is like the peak COVID-19 for how low the numbers got. And you can see that in terms of showings, we've surpassed that amount. And that's what you see in that intersection on the chart over here. And finally, when comparing showings from week uh, to week, from last week to this week, you can see that we are getting more showings and there are more offers registered, all showing signs of life. And over here, it's just, this is what it looks like in a chart form. Orange is like the latest week and blue is last week. You can see that it is on top of it all completely every single day. We're definitely trending up. So what we can ultimately say and draw from this is, I think we're gonna see the same trends next week. And if we do, I'm confident in saying that we're probably trending upwards from here now and we're no longer in the bottom. And that's probably behind us. Now in terms of price, we'll probably see maybe a little bit of a lagging indicator because that's usually what happens. So maybe one or two more weeks of drop off before maybe it goes up if again, the trends continue. So last week when I talked about holding off or making any kind of move right now in the real estate market, if you are serious about making a move, you definitely probably should be getting your financing in order and getting your pre-approvals ready because I think the time is coming up very soon. Of course, give me a call to set up the strategy call to kind of set you up for what to do next. Uh, my contacts will be here on the screen. Until next time, your move, your future. Now that you're done watching this one, how about this one? Oh, you know what? This one's good too. Ooh, this one's really good. You know what? Just watch the most.